What's up, y'all? Just thought I'd stick with something that people seem to really like discussing. What if fights? Fights that the public would have liked or wanted that never happened. I gave uh, a long time ago Mike Tyson versus Ike Abeyabuchi, um Lennox Lewis, Riddick Bowe. Um, what's, what's, uh, I did just go check my, uh, <laughs> my platforms on here in WJ and the J Roos Theory, my main platform. But today I wanna to talk about who would have won between big George Foreman and Mike Tyson. Y'all remember Jim Lampley when he called the Foreman-Moore fight that George Foreman won? It happened, it happened. <laughs> Man, that was huge, I still remember that, 1994. But George Foreman had 81 fights, five losses, 76 wins, and 68 KOs with an 89.47% KO percentage. According to Box Rec, Mike Tyson had 50 fights, six losses, 44 KOs, and one draw. I think they're counting that exhibition to Roy Jones. I don't count that. And Mike Tyson had an 88% KO percentage. So George Foreman had 1% higher KO percentage than Mike Tyson. And a lot of people think George Foreman on his comeback would have beaten Mike Tyson. The the Foreman back in the uh the 60s and 70s, I don't I don't I don't know if that Foreman would have, but I believe the uh the Christian version when he came back, I think that Foreman was a lot more disciplined. He uh, didn't take himself ser so seriously in the first career. He was like, you know, very intimidating. Second career he comes back laughing and, you know, eating hamburgers, a lot more playful and never got knocked down. And his younger career he got knocked down. When he was older, didn't get knocked down, but people always like to talk about age. But um, I think his height would have possibly given Mike Tyson problems. He's six. Um, I've seen Mike Tyson listed at six feet, but I think he's more like 5'10". George Foreman, 6'3", sometimes listed at 6'4". Very big guy, one of the hardest punchers in boxing history. Um, I know people are going to say Deontay Wilder has a higher percentage, but you can't go by that. You have to go by the quality and the level of opponents. I always, I always say your KOs are only as good as your resume. So if your resume is not that good, you can't say, well, Wilder, he hits harder than George Foreman. George Foreman made some comments a couple weeks ago about Deontay, he said, I believe he said wasn't even close to being one of the hardest punchers in boxing history. Um, and that's, you know, that's how real boxing heads take it. We know that if you're knocking out C-class opponents, even if it makes highlights re highlight reels and it's devastating, that's not the same as knocking out dudes in the top 10. It's just not, you know. So for people to keep talking about Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder is not the same as George Foreman. It's not the same as Lennox Lewis, Razor Ruddick, Mike Tyson, all them guys. Anyway, I think Mike Tyson would definitely punch more than George Foreman. I think he probably would land more, but I think George would stop him because George had a great jab. Mike Tyson had an underrated jab too, but you know, his arms were so short he, you know, he would have to double and triple up his jab just to get in on George and throw combos. And he would probably like Michael Moore was doing. Michael was throwing jabs and combos and then Foreman just caught him slipping. And I think that's the same thing would have happened to Mike Tyson. He'd come in throwing combos and Foreman would throw that big jab and pow, knock Mike Tyson right out, maybe even through the ropes, who knows. But I think Mike Tyson will probably get George Foreman's attention, but Foreman's chin on his comeback was just tough. Foreman had one of those granite chins, man. And the guy's training, I seen him pulling trucks up hills with a rope. All in his 40s, you know. People are old when they get in their 40s, right? Uh, let me see a 20-year-old 
boxer pull a truck, a diesel up a hill. I see him, he's chopping wood. Foreman was just, he's incredible. And uh, it would be a, it would be an entertaining fight. And if they had a rematch, I pick George again. I just I just think George is all wrong for Mike Tyson. I think those thudding jabs of Foreman would make Mike wanna quit. And what Teddy Atlas used to call silent agreements, not that George would co-sign it, where Mike would hug a fighter and they'd hug back and almost agree not to fight. You know, just clinch, but Foreman would push him off and then continue to jab. Foreman was great at pushing guys off. So I think Foreman would stop Mike Tyson probably around, because if Mike didn't get you out in the first three or four rounds, he even said he uh, he had a lung problem. He'd get tired even sometimes running around the corner. So he would try to get guys out early. A lot of people don't know that. So if Mike Tyson couldn't get George Foreman out in the first uh three to five rounds, I think George Foreman would stop Mike Tyson somewhere around somewhere around the seventh or eighth. And uh, none of Foreman's losses in his comeback were from knockouts, because like I said, he didn't even get knocked down. The worst beating I've ever seen George Foreman have, and he won, was against a fighter from the UK named Alex Stewart who fought Evander Holyfield, and uh, he really messed Big George's face up, but George just didn't go down. George is a tough, tough man, and when your spirit's tough, your mind's tough, and your body's tough, all three elements, it's nearly impossible to stop a man like that. So uh, I got George Foreman around the seventh or eighth. Who do you guys think would have win? Who would have win? Come on, man. I got an A-plus in English in high school. Who would have won? Who would have won? Who do you guys think would have won between big George Foreman and Mike Tyson? Like I said, there's only like a 1% difference in their uh, KO percentage. Anyway, thanks for watching. LSR forever. Shout out to Lennox Roos, my son, pitching. Just won eight to zero in their first game in baseball just started high school won eight to zero it was six zero in the first inning my son is doing his thing much respect to him love you son make sure you subscribe to his gaming channel Linux Roos I appreciate it thank you for watching LSR forever shout out to the bomb dime and be fearless now that's what I say on the Jay Roos theory, but be fearless anyway <laughs> in WJ.